it's always good to have an idea of where to start. You don't want to just randomly give values to your uh, network. But again, it kind of looks like we're just trying random things and then doing trial and error, right? But uh, that's not always how we're going to approach this. Of course, there are some ways how we can decide what to try first or what to try next when to, to make our network a little bit better. Uh, and that is the topic of discussion in our next two modules. We're going to learn how to diagnose the model to see what's wrong with our model and then how to come up with a plan and implement that plan uh, to improve the network. We will also have a little exercise on that. So we will, I'll show you again in the same code how to make this network a little bit better. Just one last thing. So uh, when you're making your model from scratch, of course, it's a little bit confusing at first to see how to initialize things, what activation function to use, what to do with the normalization and everything. So I will show you two options of uh, recommended ways to initialize your neural network based on different um, features or different characteristics that your problem might have. Uh, and you know, you can try, you can start with them and then see based on your problem, uh, change it a little bit, tweak it and change some of the options and see which one works better for you. So the first one is kind of the recommended one. If you have a fully connected network, uh, so that means you don't have any skip states uh, or you do not have any recurrence uh, then, which is basically what we've been building in this uh, course since the beginning, we always use dense layer. That means they're fully connected. Then you can use uh, the first approach. So this one uh, uses the activation function cello because it is able to do self-normalization and it's always recommended to start with cello if you can. That means if you have a fully connected network, and we do. Um, and then you can use Lacoon weight initializer. That's kind of what Celu works with. So you kind of have to use them together to get the full effect of Celu. Uh, for optimizer, gradient descent with momentum works perfectly. You don't really uh, need to do anything else. Um, and that is the default one with Keras. Uh, but you can also try RMS prop or, or Natum and see you know, if that's going to help you get a better performance or not. Um, for regularization, we are using alpha drop, dropout. As I said, it's kind of the same logic as, as dropout. It's just because the network does self-normalization with Celu, we want the dropout layer to also output normalized outputs. So it doesn't uh, mess with the whole self-normalization of the network. Um, normalization, again, because the network self-normalizes, we don't really need a specific normalization. And for learning rate scheduling, ideally you would use one cycle scheduling because that's one of the best ones, but because it's a little bit more complicated to implement than the other ones, I think just power scheduling or exponential scheduling would also work after you tune those values and make sure that you don't get uh, too low of a learning rate like we had in the exercise. Um, all right, well, some small notes. Uh, as I said, no need for batch normalization. Uh, the network self-normalizes. Uh, in, when you're using Celu, it is important to normalize your values before you feed it to the network. Uh, so that's one note that you should keep in mind. Um, but yeah, that's it. So this is kind of the recommended way of uh, initializing your network. And then kind of you can change things and see what works better. The second one, uh, again, this would work with most of the cases. Uh, this is kind of like a different approach. And this would also work if you do, if you have some uh, skip states or recurrence or um, other things that uh, does not have a sequential, if you don't have a sequential network and if it's not fully connected. Uh, so for that one, you can use Elo, you can try Elo. Uh, you can use a weight initializer of Hay, which, you know, they go together like Celo and Lacon. Um, for optimizer, again, momentum would work, but if you want, you can use RMS prop or Natum to see which one works better. Um, for regularization, you can do early stopping, but ideally you wouldn't. So I would actually suggest that you do L2 regularization. Uh, for normalization, you can do batch norm, but if you have a shallow network, so if you have like, I don't know, one to three hidden layers, you don't really have to do normalization, batch normalization, because you're not going to really have that unstable gradients problem that happens more when you have a really deep network. So if you have a deep network, then you can try batch normalization. And again, for uh, learning rate, it's it's good to ha use some learning rate scheduling. Again, one cycle, cycle scheduling would work well, uh, but you can try also some other scheduling uh, techniques.
Generally, this uh, ELU or CELU are good options for activation functions, but if you uh, want to have a faster network, if speed is really important for you, then RELU would work uh, a little bit faster, or leaky RELU would work, either, either RELU or leaky RELU would work faster for you. So if speed is a important factor for you, then you can try those out and see which one works better. Uh, but that's it for our exercise for the past modules that we've seen. Uh, if you have any questions, comment and let me know. I hope everything was clear. And uh, now it's time for you to try, some, try out some things. As I said, go to the assignment lesson in the next lesson and uh, start playing around with it.